Hello everyone! New Bitdefender research revealed the existence of several new pacifier APT components that point to the Russian-linked cybercriminal group known as Turla. Allegedly associated with the Russian government, the Turla group is believed to have been involved with other advanced persistent threats targeting governments and militaries since at least 2008. The group has been known to use a broad arsenal of tools to infiltrate high-profile European and US institutions solely to acquire data and carry out cyber espionage. Using malicious documents and zip files distributed via spear phishing emails, attackers would lure victims into executing the attachments using invitations to social gatherings or conferences. Our previous analysis of the pacifier components revealed that it's capable of dropping multi-stage backdoors and that the analyzed first-stage dropper is also known by other security vendors as Skipper. What's interesting about this new research on pacifier is that we found new backdoor components that communicate with command and control servers using three very innovative techniques. The first backdoor is a binary that can communicate with a command and control server by proxying the connection through an internet-connected computer that shares the same local area network as the victim. The second backdoor is a Visual Basic script that uses the browser's local cache to store commands and send data to CNCs. This is a new and very effective method for communicating with CNCs as it's untraceable, it's a legitimate browser mechanism, and it raises no security warnings as almost all websites use the browser's local storage. Of course, another advantage of using a Visual Basic script is that it disguises the CNC communication as legitimate browser behavior. Finally, the third backdoor is a highly obfuscated JavaScript that constantly connects to a list of CNCs and sends information about the victim's systems. After all command and control servers are contacted, two in our case, the backdoor sleeps for about one hour and then repeats the process. While the three analyzed backdoors are different, they all show how versatile the Turla group is in terms of coding, implementations, and data exfiltration techniques. Our investigation also revealed the existence of other programs and tools for collecting data, including some that are freely available on the internet and have probably been uploaded by the attackers post-infection. These free tools enable memory dumping capabilities for processes such as Microsoft Outlook, intercept plain and encrypted browser traffic using man-in-the-middle techniques, or perform local network discovery, potentially to map networks and find other victims or valuable caches of information. Since more backdoors are likely to be discovered and analyzed by security researchers, it's safe to speculate that the Twilla group is comprised of skilled members with a deep understanding of security evasion techniques. For more information about the research and how the three new pacifier components work, please check out labs.bitdefender.com and download the research paper. That's it for now, till next time.